Now to our other top story tonight. A Tampa family is asking why and how their loved one was murdered. Investigators say 42-year-old Jamie Haldi was found dead in a retention pond back in December, just days after he got into a crash along I-275. And tonight his family is speaking only to 10 Tampa Bay's Angelina Salcido just days after St. Pete police announced an arrest in the case. I look for him every day. Every day. There are so many questions why. It's really, really hard. Jamie Hobdy's mom, Brenda, wants to know what happened to her youngest of three kids. She and her daughter noticed something was wrong in early December. Everybody was called and he, we, nobody got an answer. So immediately I started thinking something is wrong. He had just visited his sister, Shanika. He said, sister, I live my life every day like it's my last. So I just looked at him and I said, okay, Jamie, and I said, I love you. And that was my last time seeing him. Nobody could tell Jamie's family where he was. Shanika worked tirelessly to find answers for days. I started writing down names, numbers, who last seen and where you last seen him at. One of his friends finally gave some answers. Back on December 5th, Jamie met up with Amja Nimrudi. Well, I set this deal up with this Arab guy and I know your brother is good because I talked to him after that. I said you didn't speak to him after that. After several days of not hearing from her brother and asking around to try and get some sort of answer, she finally got a location that brought her here to the side of I-275 North in St. Pete. She tells me once she got here and saw this retention pond, she knew her brother was in the water. My brother's been in this water for seven days. He's in this water. Evidence showed a planned deal with illegal drugs had gone wrong. A U-Haul truck Jamie had rented out was found crashed by the Florida Highway Patrol on December 5th. Our officers went out to look for him, and what they did find was evidence of some bullet holes in some of the buildings back there and there was a large retention pond. St. Pete Police called out the fire department's dive team. On December 12th, Jamie was found. His sister was there. I just lost it. I just broke down and I started screaming and hollering. Amja Nimrudi is now charged with Jamie's murder. Family still doesn't know how he was killed. That's the one question I don't think me and my mom will ever get the answer to. They won't rest until they do. In St. Pete, Angelina Salcido, 10 Tampa Bay. Nim Rudy was caught in Pasco County after an arrest warrant was issued. He'll be moved to the Pinellas County Jail in the next few days.